Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time scenarios or DevOps real-time questions. Now, as you can see on my screen, this is scenario number eight. If you're looking for the other scenarios, like there are seven other videos before this video, you can go through my channel and you can look for the real-time scenario series. There is a separate playlist dedicated to it. All right, so yeah, we'll dive right into the video. But before that, kindly subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let us talk about the problem statement, all right? So let me select the proper color, perfect. Let's talk about the problem statement. So the problem statement is problem statement. Also, if you want to move this forward, you can watch it in the speed of 1.25x or 1.5x, whatever is necessary for you. All right, so the problem statement is, now consider a scenario in which you are into an organization, all right? And you are experiencing bugs, outages, and slowness in the production system. So I hope you already have an idea what exactly is a dev system, what exactly is a state system, and what exactly is a production system. So if you're not aware about this, dev system is something in which the developers test their code, build and test their code. Stage is something which is kind of a pre-production system, which is almost a copy of production system. We test in stage environment, and then we move to production environment. So production environment, it is what we released to the users. So these users are someone who will use the production environment and this is something very critical and we take really seriously in, in, in our DevOps world or in our software world, all right? So I hope now you know the production system. So now consider you have a production system and there can be multiple servers in that. So it can range from one server to multiple servers to 100 or 2000, uh, it, it doesn't matter. So I'll draw a system over here and, and we have, I'll just draw two, three systems more and there are multiple systems. Okay, and the problem statement, say, statement says that this user who is accessing the application provided by your organization is experiencing a few scenarios. The first scenario, scenario is bugs. The second scenario is outages. The third scenario is slowness. I'll explain you one by one what exactly it means. Slowness means when you click on a feature, so you're trying to click on a feature, right? And it is not responding properly. So the ideal time to click on that is like click and responding is like one second. And if it's not happening, it's happening in three seconds. Generally, when you face when you have low internet, uh, low internet speed issues, right? You click on something and the browser goes on and on and on something like this. And then it keeps on buffering. That is basically slowness. Okay, so slowness means slowness of application when you're trying to use a feature of an application, it is not working properly. So that's slowness. The second thing is outages. Outages means that you are going, uh, consider it's, it's a web application and you're going on your browser and you are going on the address bar, typing www.somethingsomething.com. Okay. When you do it, it keeps on buffering and at the end it says it's not available. It can throw any error, it's not available. So that's an outage. So outages can be responsible for many things. Uh, and a lot of stuff can make sh make sure that you are on an outage, but we are not going to discuss that. I'm just giving an overview what exactly is an outage. Okay, so this is an outage, and then bugs. So a lot of people are confused. A lot of a lot of people are confused between bugs and errors. I'll give you a basic scenario: what exactly is a bug and what exactly is an error. One plus one, if gives an answer of two, that's correct. One plus one gives an answer of two point zero two is a bug. One plus one does not give any answer is an error. I can't make more simpler than this. I'll tell you one more scenario. So what exactly is happening? When there is an application, it's running and there are multiple features available on the web. You click on this web and this is a home page. Okay. So this button, when you click, should transfer your control to the home page. And that's not happening. If you click it, it's not going to home page. That's an error. If it is clicked, this button is clicked. It's going on, not, 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 not on the home page. It's going on the login page. That's a bug. And if 
it's not opening at all then it's an error okay so that's that's a difference between uh, bug and error okay so these are the two things now let us circle back to the problem statement so we are using a uh, using a production system and uh, they are facing some bugs outages and slowness now let us talk about the other part in it uh, let me select another color okay now people ask like why is it happening so the next question could be why is it happening okay so when your interviewer asks you like i can tell you the reason uh, why is it happening one reason could be that developers the developers are using this production environment for new feature development so they are building some feature some new feature and they are testing on production that that's one reason that's one of the worst and bad worst practice basically you cannot test any feature on production okay so this is the one reason that is happening the other reason is happening and con the testing team so we have qa the testers they are testing their scenarios the smoke test the regression test all types of test on the production environment which will obviously make it slow okay so this is your production environment this is your production environment they are doing it it's again a very bad practice now the other one is the uh basically a uh, testing part is completed this part is completed and configuration okay so there are uh, devops and they are doing configuration whatever the configuration they want to test changing everything is changing on, testing on getting tested on production system that's again a very bad practice and because of this this is facing a very sl uh, like slowness issues the bugs everything okay so this is again a bad practice but this is the problem statement that this is happening now as a devops or an sre or a devops manager or someone who is sane in the it world what will you do so what will you do so this is the problem statement and this is the question so i hope you have understood the scenario if you not just go back a bit in this video and understand this is the scenario i'll give you one minute to understand this i'll just pause the video over here prepare your solution take out a pen and paper write down everything that whatever you understood from this video and then give me a solution all right pause this video over, right over here and while you pause just like the video because i am getting a lot of views but i'm not getting a number of likes so kindly do that because that really would support me all right okay so i hope that you folks have written the solution and green color is for solution so let's talk about the solution so as a devops or as a devops manager what will you propose you will do is you will create a lot of environments you will create a separate dev environment you will create a separate stage environment you will create a separate qa environment and no particular order i mean dev comes first then qa then stage but i'm just explaining you this way and if you're getting confused let's just let's just delete that and i'll get this as qa or uat uat means user acceptance testing or this would be stage or a pre prod something like that okay perfect now the solution is create a development environment for writing code so if there is a developer involved so this is a developer i'll write dev tell him to write the him or her or them tell them to whatever code they are writing create a separate ci cd for dev environment now there can be a debate on what type of ci cd we can have we can have build once deploy many or build it deploy it build and deploy kind of that's a question for another video but right now have a separate ci cd for dev environment this is the very basic thing this would be your dev okay now there would be a tester you have already created a uat or a qa environment for all type of testing do it over here your qa activities your smoke testing your regression testing or your load testing load testing is one of those things that can make your environment really slow so load testing is one thing that you should be taking care and depending on the type of testing depending on the type of loads you can create a number of environments but they would fall under the category of qa similarly with dev okay so this is something now create a separate ci cd process for this 
make a way make a user account or a user group that people who are getting access the devs who are getting access to the dev environment should be limited to dev environment they should not touch the qa environment people who are having access to the qa environment should not have access to the production environment or to the stage environment or to the dev environment this is something that you need to know this falls into one bracket this falls into second bracket and similarly the people who are responsible for testing it on stage uh, it, if it can be a dev it can be a qa or the people uh, or the qas or the devops uh, let's let's take another color for this I'll, I'll take this one blue so the devops or anyone create a separate ci cd to deploy stuff on stage environment okay and make sure you do not do any sort of load testing on stage environment you do not do any sort of uh, development testing new feature testing on your uh, so new feature testing don't do that load testing or any qa activities don't do that on stage environment stage environment should be exactly equal to the production environment so that whenever you deploy everything on stage and you uh, minor testing can be done like uh, basic thing sanity what, what we call sanity testing that can be done that whether the application is working fine or not because stage would be the only thing that can give you the confidence that everything is running fine and yes we can promote your build or we can move the build to the production environment so just sanity basic sanity testing is perfectly all right that's what we do in the company we do in the industry and everyone does it but do not do new feature development or load testing or QA activities on your pre-production environment that's what not it is meant for okay and at the end have a separate CI CD for your production environment which should mimic everything that is getting deployed in the staging or a pre-prod environment staging or a pre-prod environment all right this is one thing so if these things are equal and everything is perfectly all right, you won't face any sort of slowness, any sort of bugs, any sort of things. And that would be your remedy. So this is how things needs to be done. And this is how you need to resolve things. All right. So I hope you have understood it. Just scroll back to the problem statement again. What is the scenario? This is the scenario over here. And these are the environments. We have bugs, outages, and slowness. I have explained what exactly is a bug or an error. We what do we explain? What is an outage? What is slowness? Everything. Just pause over here. Understand. Write down everything because that can be asked in an interview. Why it is happening? The interviewer told you because dev are testing new feature in the production environment. Test QA, and people who are new to DevOps, they can take a look at this in such a way that people can confuse you by because if you are saying that I want to join a DevOps as a fresher or a six months or a year experience. They can ask you questions like 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 this like uh, if i am testing my things on production environment is this a good activity or is a bad activity or worst activity so these are the principles that you need to know and then this is the solution that have a separate dev environment have a separate queue environment and have a separate stage and a product production is always separate have the access controlled create a group put people inside that as a dev and give them permission to dev uh, in i think in azure or in uh, or other public clouds is known as something known as RBAC which is role based access control that's one thing that you can read just write it down and google it the queue environment same thing have a separate CI CD for it stage and pre-production environment do the stuff same CI CD for and for for the stage environment do a basic sanity and it should mimic everything related to production all right so this is the answer to the question and if you want uh, if you uh, come till here I'll just jot them down okay so CI CD separate for each environment access control access control and separate infra for each process okay and this is that's about this video if you have anything feel free to comment below if you have any point that can improve this feel free to write down them write write them below and i will always check the comments i will always answer them and yeah that's about it folks if you need anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you very very soon in the next video